Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sir Marcy. Our lesson for today is all about the nature of the roots. Let's discuss first the discriminant formula. That is b squared minus 4ac. The discriminant determines the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. The word nature refers to the types of numbers the roots can be, namely real, rational, irrational, or imaginary. The discriminant can be positive, zero, or negative, and this determines how many solutions there are to the given quadratic equation. If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then the roots are real, rational, and equal. If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and a perfect square, the roots are real, rational, and unequal. If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and it's not a perfect square, the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. And lastly, if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, that means the roots are imaginary or not real. Okay, let's have our example number 1. Describe the nature of the roots of x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. So our step number 1 is we're going to identify the values of a, b, and c. In our equation, we have a is equal to 1 since there is an invisible one here. Our b is equal to negative 4. And the value of our c is positive 4. Okay? After we get all the values of a, b, and c, we will substitute these values in the expression that is b squared minus 4ac. So the value of our b is negative 4 squared minus 4 times our a which is 1 multiplied to our c which is 4. So we know that negative 4 squared is the same as negative 4 times negative 4 and that is equal to 16. Negative 4 multiplied to 1 is negative 4 times positive 4. The product is negative 16. So we now have b squared minus 4ac is equal to 16 minus 16 and that is equal to 0. Therefore, the discriminant is equal to 0. And what is its nature? We can say that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0 are real numbers, rational, and equal since the discriminant is equal to 0. So we will write here the nature of the root to be real, rational, and equal. Let's have problem number 2. Describe the nature of the roots of x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. In this equation, we know that the values of a, b, and c are a is equal to 1, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 10. Okay? Use these values to evaluate the expression b squared minus 4ac. So we know that the value of b here is 7 squared minus 4 times your a which is 1 multiplied to our c which is 10. So we simplify 7 squared that is simply 7 times 7 and that is equal to 49. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 10 that is negative 40. So therefore, if we simplify it, 
b squared minus 4ac is equal to 49 minus 40 and that is 9. We know that 9 is a perfect square. Why perfect square? Because if we get the square root of 9, we know that it is equal to 3. So therefore, the discriminant here is 9. And if we're going to look on our table, we have here b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and it is a perfect square. We conclude that the nature of the roots here or the nature of the root of x squared plus 7x plus 10 are real, rational, and unequal. Okay, let's proceed with problem number 3. Determine or describe the nature of the roots of x squared plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. Again, we get first the values of a, b, and c. Your a here is equal to 1, your b is equal to 6, and the value of our c is 3. Next step, we will substitute it to the expression b squared minus 4ac. So we know that the value of b here is 6 squared minus 4 multiplied to our a which is 1 multiplied to our c which is 3. So again, we simplify. 6 squared is the same as 6 times 6 and that is 36 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 3 and that is 12. If we simplify the expression b squared minus 4ac, it's equal to 36 minus 12. The answer is 24. We know that 24 is greater than 0, right? And notice that if we're going to get square root of 24, we know that 24 is not a perfect square, okay? So this is not a perfect square. So we write the discriminant here to be 24. And if we're going to look on our table, we have here the discriminant which is not a perfect square. The nature of the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. So here, the nature of the roots of x squared plus 6x plus 3 are real, irrational, and unequal. Let's proceed with our last example. We have x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So the value of a here is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to positive 5. So we substitute this to the expression b squared minus 4ac. Our b is negative 2 squared minus 4 plus times our a which is 1 multiplied to our c which is 5. So we simplify negative 2 squared is the same as negative 2 times negative 2 and that is equal to positive 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 multiplied to 5 which is negative 20. So we simplify the expression b squared minus 4ac then we have negative 16. We know that negative 16 is less than 0. Okay? And we conclude that the nature of the roots here are imaginary or not real. So here, we write the discriminant negative 16 and the nature to be imaginary. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Determine the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equation. 2x squared minus 10x plus 8 is equal to 0. And x squared plus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. Please feel free to post your answer in the comment below. 
Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.